Well, is there really such a thing as a non-Mandela affected King James Bible? Well, as you can see here, there's been about nine revisions of the King James Version. I believe each of those have been Mandela affected that uh, has really been targeted. But you see these other versions here are translated from the Textus Receptus. So you can see about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I know that there's uh, the scriptures as well translated by Moshe Yosef Kuznowski, so that's about 19. I know there's probably other ones out there. And I'll just go down this list. A lot of these are in ancient English. Uh, yeah, they'll say things like wineskins, as their King James Version used to say. The Webster's Revision um, is the one that changes the word Easter in the book of Acts chapter 12 verse 4 to Passover because the, the Greek word is Pesach which is just almost the same as the Hebrew word and it does it is speaking about the, the Jewish feast there so I've checked that out I spent a couple of hours going through this Young's literal translation is very good but uh, has a problem with John 3.16 and other texts in the, in the Psalms which talk about eternal life you know an everlasting life it just it just can't get his mind around that. <laughs> and he puts he puts uh, things like uh, ageless, and I'm not sure, but he, he doesn't doesn't really translate it very well. I would say just that word, but otherwise it's a good um, King James Bible. This one, Julia E. Smith, who I believe was a royalist, uh, who stayed in Glastonbury in uh, the United States, and. Uh, try getting one of her translations for less than about seven grand seven thousand dollars and they're going for a lot more than that the derby bible one of the most widely translated uh, versions into various languages um, i think it's a decent enough translation but i think there might have been a, a couple of issues that i saw there that i i wouldn't go for it new king james version we know all about that one it's a hybrid they use Textus Receptus, but they also bring in things from the, the other uh, Nestle's text. The Green's Literal Translation, which we'll look at in a minute, which I believe is uh, the best out of this group here. Um, interlinear Translation. Third Millennium Bible. Uh, There's a couple of things that I saw that, that weren't quite right. You know, doing the sort of acid test, the videos I've been making about the Mandela effect changes and different things. Divine name, the King James Bible, which, uh, well, I'm not sure if it changes you, uh, John to Johan. I'm not certain, but I think it's all about uh, bringing the name Jeho Jehovah in, and it just leaves the name Jesus there, which is fine. But so it should say Yeshua in, in some of the other versions, modern English version, and the King James 16, 2016 edition, uh, which just modernizes certain words no big deal there uh, these and those i think will probably replace this with uh, your and yours that type of stuff so let's look uh, about the the greens literal translation here um, i'll leave the link below to this but i think this is the most non-mandela affected uh, bible that i've seen and we'll just go through couple of things from Isaiah um, this is the weakest one I've seen I really had to decide if uh, I was going to make this video about it because it's very weak yeah shining star it should say Lucifer which means light bearer that is the literal Hebrews light bearer so why why they even say star it shouldn't be there you see the sun of the morning okay which is good that it says that not morning star but he's the son of the morning so it's giving a distinction and I think that's that's good enough for me passes the acid test there um, Isaiah 45 14 remember it says there is no God but it should say um, surely God is in you and there is none else no other God exactly what I said it should say and so this is what I believe the King James Bible used to say before it was Mandela affected, but this one hasn't been. 
let's check out um, what else have we got here um, let's go to Mark chapter 2 verse uh, 22 it's talking about the wineskins again exactly what we used to remember our King James Bible talking about no one puts new wine into old wineskins or skins else the new wine will burst the skins that's what we remember our King James Bible saying so this is very much closer to what we remember our Bible's teaching praise the Lord do I hear some rejoicing there among the saints? Uh, I'm not sure how many people use this uh, Green's literal translation, but uh, well, God bless America it seems to have come from there. J.P. Green Senior. Uh, the name Green is sometimes a, a Jewish name, so this could be a real, a real Jewish Bible we got here. Praise the Lord. Um, let's go to John 3:16 and I see what it's saying here everlasting life just ex is exactly what it should be God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son he's got begotten in there everyone believing into him or it says in him I remember saying in him into him should not perish but have everlasting life praise the Lord alright there might be a couple of differences but we uh, it's a lot closer to what we remember hallelujah let's check the book of Acts um, chapter 12 verse 4 now this is speaking about uh, King Herod who was not um, giving God the glory and then uh, God judges him eventually but uh, the, the it says in the King James Bible, and it did say it before the Mandela effect. I remember reading it. It says Easter, but the correct translation is a Passover, or Pesach. You see, because that's what it's referring to, because it's referring to unleavened bread before this. There we go, unleavened bread, and then Passover. So that's the order of things always, and that's it should say Passover here. Um, I've kind of probably defended the the King James Bible a little too much in the past. I have been led to it. And by God, but um, just through this Mandela effect, obviously it's caused me to look at a few, um, a few of the things um, within the Bibles, and uh, and so I'm I'm glad I have. I've just spent that bit of time and allowed the Lord to to lead me in this. I had a few nice conversations with a, a brother and sister about this, and uh, so quite happy that the Lord is I think leading us to use. The Green's literal translation. Tell me what you think, guys. And we can just check this First uh, John five seven, and it's just in very very few versions. This for there are three bearing witness in heaven: the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. It says here, and of course, a lot of people prefer spirit than ghost, and these three are one. And so I think uh, this is by far. Uh, the best King James revision um, that I have came across. Hallelujah. So, praise the Lord. Thanks for watching, guys. Shalom.